Reasonable Doubt on Hulu. Michael E. Lee here with his little light eyes. What are we paying this intimacy coordinator? I love that we're seeing a grumpy male teenager. Curry. Washington! Does Tina knows on wardrobe? If the wife knew all along and she's the one who killed her. Nobody talks about bread pudding. Did they just tell us? Money, power, respect was my ringtone. Why weren't y'all talking about this first season so I could've got on? What up loves and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love with me, your girl Donna Rizzo. As we're here to recap a new show. It's new for me, it's new for us. It's called Reasonable Doubt and it's on H, nope, it's on Hulu. <laughs> It's new for me, it's new for us, and it's called Reasonable Doubt on Hulu. Now, we are in season two. Because there's only nine episodes this season, or season one, I think I'm going to do what I, you know, like half, maybe one through four in one bunch, and then I'll do five through nine in the next. So if you guys are not caught up, let this serve as a catch up. They're hour long, like 45 minutes each, you know, depending if you have ads with Hulu, but make sure you watch it so you can catch up with me. Do not have any spoilers in these comments. I'm going to catch up, hopefully within a week. It's a holiday weekend, so we catching up. I got nothing but time, thank the Lord. If this is your first time here, I typically do live reaction recaps and then I post clips and snippets here so that you know what it is I'm referring to. I don't do post show recaps, but this is gonna be a little different because I wanna kinda breeze through these. So I won't be posting as many clips. I'm just gonna give a lot of my like, quick hitting responses, reactions, because I wanna get through this season with you guys. I think so, right? Knowing me, I'm probably gonna do most of it. Lord, but I can't do four episodes. Normally my one episodes are like 30 minutes, so we gonna see how this goes, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into this. Reasonable Doubt on Hulu. Let's go. First of all, I love these actors because Jack and Jax and that's McKinley Freeman from Hit the Floor with Logan Browning. I also love that law has taken over television these days. Like, have y'all noticed that? We had a, a big law era with like how to get away with murder and scandal. And then I feel like we went super into the medical industry with like Grey's Anatomy went crazy. That's all I could think of right now. But I feel like law left and medicine came in. And then, I don't know if it's because of crime junkies or what is it that made law come back? Maybe the like resurgence of suits because also I watch suits so I'm thinking everything is around that. But I feel like a lot of law has come back and this is a law show. Y'all this soundtrack feeds my soul. The fashion in this. I love that we saw the crime first and we're working our way backwards. So every episode she's gonna get people to go against her. This show has snack. The snack after snack. Now y'all got Michael E. Lee here with his little light eyes. The thirst that this show gives. I will tell you, it is not shady to you, Michael E. Lee, because, oh, very handsome young man there. Um, I'm not a light eyes on my neck. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a, a female trait we should have, right? Like, gr like grow up and get a brown eye. My not you, Michael. Why I love this, like, short hair on her. I haven't seen her in anything else, but I think it, kind of sort of goes with her little round face. It's giving white men are attracted to me, right? Y'all, why does Michael E. Lee play attractive but crazy and creepy man so well? He always plays these roles where he's asking women all these damn questions. <laughs> what if it was just us? But what if I didn't go? What if I put this here? What if I didn't do that? What if we stayed together? <laughs> he always has. He also got the shit I'm developing where his mouth is like straight across. And he almost, when he gets serious, he gets into a frown. Mike, if you figure out how to get rid of that, let me know, cause I'm, I'm getting it. Sometimes I'll be sitting there like, I'll be looking at myself in the Zoom meetings, right? We all do that. We're not looking at everyone else. Like, <laughs> once we have seen what their background and their home and the dirty dog looks like in the back, we're good, right? After that, it's just us. I'll be looking at myself sometimes, and I'll be like, why are you sitting like this, like, like why? <laughs> so Mike, call me if you figured that out, cause. I'll, I'll fix that. This man leaving and then watching her on the camera is wild. You don't wanna be in the house, but you still wanna be like all up in her sh This is insecurity 101 that you're out, but you still gotta watch her all the time. It's men like this who can't take a powerful woman where they are like, I can't, you need to stop, but 
I still want it and I want to keep tabs on you. That's sh crazy, y'all. Shorty is looking right in the camera. All right, this episode was good. Let's look at these credits because I got to figure out who did this music. V thespian Pauletta Washington. Say her name properly, okay? <laughs> Kerry Washington directed this. Big ups to you. Oh, and she comes from Scandal. I don't know if that helps. But big ups, didn't she direct? Kerry Washington has directed some other shit. I feel like I remember seeing that in the, the Instagram world. And then who did the music? Adrian Young Gay. Yoanki. I don't know. Young Gay? Y Young? I don't know. And who? Al Shaheed Muhammad. They gotta be from New York. This, it's, I don't understand why, granted, I loved it. I don't understand why the soundtrack for this has been so East Coast, so New York, like a lot of Jay-Z, like why, if she, unless we're gonna find out that she's from the East Coast, but this is taking place in LA. Why is there so much East Coast influence here? Actually, let me look this up right now. Adrian, where you from? Are there other Adrian Young gays? Oh, Adrian got a blue check. Adrian Young, is this him? Yeah, music. Jazz musician? Adrian, this you? This you, Adrian? Let me not. This you, Adrian? Huh. Let me see. Actually, we have mutual friends. Hold on. I was going to say most of our mutual friends are from New York, but that's also most of my life. So, huh. And you do jazz. And I see, well, this is very, I'm saying a lot here without saying nothing at all. Where are you from, Adrian Yonge? Also, Onyx Collective. Why do I know the Onyx Collective? Why do I feel like that used to be a party thing? Did some, did, wasn't there an, an Onyx Collective? All my New Yorkers, wasn't there an Onyx Collective that threw? It wasn't with like the layout people. Tell me, am I bugging? And then who's Al Shahid? Ali Shahid Muhammad. You do jazz as well. We've got more mutual friends though. Oh wait, let me see. Are you following? These ain't mutuals. These are people following you. Midnight Hour. Lucy Pearl. Oh, Trap Called Quest. This makes sense. All right. Why would they put New York music behind this? We're going to find out she's from New York or something. All right, let's go to the next episode. Okay, episode two. Let's go. Onyx Collective, why do I know y'all? <laughs> Who is Onyx Collective? Why do I know y'all? Is everybody Onyx Collective? Is that an ERG? At one of these companies. Damn, I'm gonna figure it out. Y'all better give me an opening scene. Y'all, I don't want this to be the case of the season. Can we get another one? Well, get out of my house. Oh no, so Will is gonna become obsessed. And we don't know Will's crime because they just let that slip. Y'all saw that. Oh, it's something when I was younger, it came back around. Is that related to Michael E. Lee's case? And they found new evidence to get him out. And now Will is the crazy one who actually murdered the joint. Hmm. That means Will would kill Jax. I like how we're in episode two and we're starting, this is a new leaf. We're eating the Nicorette gum. I see it, Carrie, I see it. Jax likes projects that seem impossible to other people so that she can prove to herself and others that she's fully capable. Chanel is messy. It's about to be something with her. I think she's gonna sleep or hit the floor. Somebody needs to talk to Spencer about respecting his mother. Y'all notice that the, the person who plays Jax, she has like those cat-like um, physical characteristics where she's like, you know how cats always move, move their head? Like <laughs> the parent who says no wins. I like that hit the floor. Y'all, I know that we feel that every black show needs to have somebody who sings. I don't know if it's like you think there's like nostalgia with it, but. We gotta do better with this fucking lip syncing that we do with the track over, like. What are we paying this intimacy coordinator? Cause girl, it's not enough. Ask for more next season. <laughs> the way that fucking hit the floor uses intimacy as a weapon or as a way to control her is so fucking lame, you loser That's the only thing that you have over her. So you're using it to control? Stupid. Do y'all know any black Emily's? I don't feel like there are any, there's black Emily's. I probably know black Emily's. Y'all know any black Emily's? So the cousin wanted her to sign, but then said she's sick of black women protecting black men who don't deserve it. 
but your own cousin? What if she finds out that he actually did commit the crime and that's why he's gonna actually kill her at the end? All successful stressed women run. I gotta start running, y'all. Lewis, his name is Lewis. It's not hit the floor, y'all. Let's, Lewis. Lewis, Lewis. Her stomach's hurting. That means she's gonna get her period. Mom, you better be around and don't let her down. If this were like my other recaps, if this is your first time here, normally I would ask a question for you guys to engage with in the comments and be like, oh, tell me your first period story. Mine was very anticlimactic. My mother and I don't have like a very open relationship like that. So I only went to her out of necessity for one of them big diaper pads, even though I was 12. I got in the morning before I went to school and I was like, hey, I got my period, can I get a pad? And that was it. <laughs> Literally, it was not extravagant. I was home, which actually now that I think about that typically happens. I usually wake up in the morning and I have a, so it's very similar, huh? Thanks God for letting it not just happen randomly when I'm out in the street. Ooh, I knew stories about women like that, Lord. I do remember my sister was like upset at me for not telling her I got my period. And I'm like, okay, like it's not, what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> Let's normalize this. Will texting hey you up is so, one obsessive, but two young. It shows the age difference between them. If she don't respond to this, this should really be his last time contacting her. Like this is, this is enough, sir. Okay. You're going to look super desperate now. I loved seeing Jax and Lewis like talk like friends. I also love that we're seeing a grumpy male teenager versus the grumpy typical like brat girl teenager that we usually get. Jax is sitting at the head of her friend group. The music again, y'all. My skin is black played with the two different scenes. One of the rich black man still getting accosted by the police. Another of an innocent black man getting accosted by his PO, the dichotomy of it all. And both of them still getting ran up on, raided, merchandise, everything destroyed that they own and having guns threatened to be pill pulled on them. Curry Washington, you're amazing. Who is the Jay-Z fan here? Young gay, that's you. And the rich Married to a white woman in his mansion, still getting this treatment. <laughs> Carrie, Miss Carrie, baby, not you. The other one, Carrie, we see this. You are doing it, baby. This is what I tell the kids at my old high school because they wanna have the Caribbean Student Union, the African Student Union, the Black Student Union, that's all good and well, because culturally we are very different. I do not like that everyone puts us in, oh, y'all are all black, so you act, eat, talk, interact, you listen to all of that the same? No, cultures are very different. But here in these United States of America, when something is impacting the black community, baby girl, you too are impacted. Yes, because still, you black. No one says, mm, I'm not going to stop her because... She's Ghanaian. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to stop her because she's from Guyana. No, no, no. Still. N so when it's time to move things for black students on your campus, at your job, at your school, in your community, you need to be doing this together and then go free. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, let me know. You know, I don't want to do this, but nobody says, oh, Orthodox is better than this, this is better than Hasidic. No, no, no. It's the Jewish community, right? Let's circulate that. Okay. I digress. Also, is Tina knows on wardrobe? Because Jack's shoulders stay out. You got a good clavicle though. So it's angle shoulders. Your body good. But still. What's the significance of her not touching that iPad? They didn't show us that for no reason. There's something that y'all better remember that. Okay, the investigator guy is my favorite character, 100%. It could be because I want to do that job and I probably am that job for me and my friends now, but he's my favorite character. The cousin wearing those red glasses is a clear indication that she's just doing the most, y'all. She is trying to embody her cousin and do what she wanted her cousin to do. But she signed that NDA, sis. She ain't as radical as you think and want. And you acting like her in her death ain't gonna change that. Oh, it's the OCD-ness. Maybe that's it. Daniel likes the assistant, but he's scared of her. So he's afraid to say it. Come on, Michael E. Lee with this little, this little low top fade right here. I don't think I've ever seen that man's peanut head going like this. Okay, we like Sarah. She's not what I thought. What's she doing with this man? 
asking your wife who you just disrespected repeatedly and who you didn't choose to then go around and choose you is wild. What if the wife knew all along and she's the one who killed her? Now the Aussie guy is a suspect. Pauletta said to look into him. Did Brayden appoint, um, what's her name, Kanisha, Kalisha? Whatever her name is, over the Aussie guy and he's upset now? So he went to kill her to get her out the way? Or maybe she was up for promotion. Mm. And he's like, no, I'm the right hand. I love how this show sheds light on the things that racist people say when they think they're in equal company. That Korean guy, when he was going to clean, the black cousin, this white guy, and rich and Aussie guy. And trust, this biracial girl with the last name Rizzo has heard it all. I remember clear as day. I don't know if this lies, but clear as day. And this had to be 15 years ago at this point. Grant Cardillo, I remember he said he saw my name when I was getting hired and he thought he was getting a good little Italian girl. I remember I went back and told my mother cause I was living at home at that point. And she said, and what? He got a bad little black girl? And I was like, you know what? But I can't raise hell, I was too new, you know? At these points, you know me, I'm, I'm like, what you say, Nick? Just like that. <laughs> I love that Chanel called her girl one-on-one -on -one to discuss something that didn't sit right with her. Like, I think, I see Jax rolling her eyes about it, but I think too many people have those moments with somebody who they call their friend, and then they either don't talk to them, they repress it, and then they hold that and resent them for years, and maybe it blows up later, or they go to their other friends and talk shit about her. So I respect that Chanel went and wanted to have the conversation because that shows that she cared. Because when you don't have the conversation, it's out the window. Hit the floor. If you don't take your ass to CVS right now and go pick up a pad. The doctor? Why do we need to go to the doctor for a period? What the f Come on, black female doctor, yeah. Oh, he didn't think it was her period because she's only 10 years old. 10 is crazy. Wait, he said, hold on. He said, if you don't think she's ready, we can do something to stop it? What are they doing? They giving kids something to stop their periods? Y'all, this not, this not the way. I don't think that's, you're putting something in these kids' bodies to stop what's natural? Damn, they didn't even have the sex in period talk because she's only 10. I love, and y'all see this, the same way that Jax was on her bed talking to Pauletta is the same way that she's on her bed talking to her mom. Carrie, I see it. I see it, Carrie. Damn, so they had to have this conversation with the 10-year-old. I don't know how, how old is Spencer? He's in high school, I'm assuming, or junior high school? I don't know, because they go to the same school. I don't know how that works in these rich schools that they go to. Um, did they have a sex talk with him yet? Y'all hear him cursing? He still talks like a jail nigga. What a wake up call to hear your daughter say she didn't want to tell you about something potentially harmful happening to her body because you, her mother, seem so busy that you don't have time for her. Also to see those little kid panties with blood on them really put the in perspective. Asian man, you're gonna die. You stay in these black neighborhoods acting like you gonna hide or something. You gonna die. And I hate this because you're one of my favorite characters. Yup, I knew it. I told y'all this was gonna happen. I, ju I just said this. <laughs> oh, good episode. All right, episode four, I went to go get something to eat. But I think this is the last one I'm gonna do today. And then we can figure out, maybe I'll do the next half. I might need to split that up because these are getting good. All right, let's go. Y'all saw Theo is putting a bug in um, Rich's ear that he needs to be head over Jax. But what he's really saying is the white man needs to be head over the black woman. We, hear, we see you. And immediately you see Rich throwing her under the bus. Like that's how easy it is. That one, maybe two statements that he made already in Rich's head and you see how quickly it makes him turn just imagine y'all and he's doing it both ways because he went the like white man like hey, hey type shit. I don't know why fat Albert but you got me and then he did the misogyny right so he went the white version so let me chummy chummy in with these white guys then he went oh poles misogynist so he's getting her on both sides like this is wild, but also this is how it happens. Oh, melanin over money is interesting. So you want the black folk now, but where you been? 
Huh? Y'all not Will follower? Will is a fucking weirdo, y'all. Also, Will, do I know you? Will, do I know you? Will, do, do I know you? If so, hit me on the side. Oh, you guys can follow me on all things social media at from Rizzo with love. Will, now, if I know you and we've had um some history or you know my mama or you went to my church because will you look fucking familiar um just send me a DM. oh i like this little tuesday tea chanel is a good actress she's gonna branch off from this show bringing work to the girls day is crazy don't do that y'all taking money is a sign that you accept it don't do it Thank you for finally talking to Spencer Lewis. No, y'all, he turned all the cameras off and I feel like Will is gonna come back and she's gonna think that the cameras are on to save her or she's gonna be like, look, there's cameras. Oh, but they won't be. And so we're not gonna know what happened or something. she's gonna have to her f Thank you for saying bread pudding because I am a bread pudding lover and I feel like we don't talk, everybody talk about sweet potato pie or banana pudding. Nobody talks about bread pudding. Thank you for making me feel seen. <laughs> Gotta look out for a brother. That's very interesting now, huh? Interesting that we do that for each other, even though the other person hasn't done it for us ever. But I guess I'd rather take that than literally inviting you to the other people to the cookout. At least you invited him to it. Damn, he just says somebody came at him and then two weeks later they died. That's not going to be the line in the story that they want, y'all. I wish my law firm was this diligent with my case. But, you know, let, me not, let me not go there. Damn, so the wife did do it. Did they just tell us? Wait, what happened? I had no idea that they discussed what they were looking for in a jury before they get to the selection process. But I guess this makes sense, right? I just didn't know it was this extensive. It is all a game. Also, I've said this before, but I want to serve on a jury. I say that every time until I get to jury duty, then I get nervous. But I feel like there's too many um, cases and too many trials that are in front of a jury of our peers and none of them are our peers. Like if I, Lord Jesus, please don't let this be me. But if ever I had to get up there, I would want to have someone who looks like me who understands potentially me, right? Instead of just all oh, middle-aged white, middle-aged black women love, especially old white women love to be in jury duty. I'm just like, you could find your place. But yeah, I actually might sign up. You know, there was an option to be called, I don't know how it is in other um, states, but there was an option once you did your jury duty, I think they don't call you again for like eight years. There was an option to get called twice in those eight years. And it was only me and this one, I think he was either Latino or Asian guy who took the form. Now, have I filled it out? No. But you know, the thought is there. <laughs> I thought they could only excuse two people. Y'all know I got excused once? I got up to the jury and that was when I didn't want to. And he asked me a question. He was like, well, what if you had one? Could you convict someone if you had one piece of evidence? And I was like, it depends. And he was like, what if it's a strong, clear piece of evidence? And I said, it depends. And he was like, Your Honor, I'd like to dismiss jury number, I think I was eight or something. I was like, I ain't it. You don't like it? If it's if it's camera of my man walking by and a crime happened five minutes later, you might take that as one strong piece of evidence. I might not. What if the other camera angle shows somebody walking by one second before the crime was committed or after? Now, if you show me a video of a man shooting someone and he's on trial for shooting someone that's different you know what i'm saying that's different but it depends i feel like people are always looking for ways to get out of jury duty and here i am like not pick me look how rich is holding on to that aussie's brainwash and it was only two statements i feel like michael ely is gonna have his room raided and there's gonna be they're gonna look in his uniform and there's gonna be like a wad of cash and he gonna go back to jail Oh no, so she's blaming her mother for her father's abandonment. Okay, so I saw this and I didn't make reference to this, but I saw how Jax was looking at her daughter sitting on that old white man's lap. But now this makes sense. Jax, baby, get your butt to therapy right now. Not raising a f boy gives me so much joy. Can I also tell you that money, power, respect was my ringtone <laughs> in like, was it in high school or in my like first year of college? You know how we had the music as our ringtones? 
And I was working in Midtown at the moment and my friend was actually interning at um, HBO. And there was, I think it was, there was a manhole by Grand Central or really by Bryant Park that caught fire. And there was all this smoke and people ran because they thought it was another like 9-11. You just saw smoke coming from the side of a building. You didn't know what was causing it. I mean, people left their shoes in the street You because women had heels, right? They ran out and left. All you saw was the street were all filled with all of those shoes. And so I went to, but not to say where it is, but nearby was my friend's internship. And she was like a little intern, you know, us little black kids in here. And my mother was calling me, but I didn't want to pick up the phone while I was one, in a space that I wasn't supposed to be in. Two, I didn't want to cause too much like noise to not have my friend get in trouble because I know the only reason they said I can come up is because of what happened, but they really didn't want me up in their offices and she's only an intern. What are you doing about any other people? And so I tried to silence. Oh, wait, it wasn't money, power, respect because it was little Kim's. I think it was yours, the real sh no, whatever it was before I could silence it, it must have been the third word was a curse. Lord help me. Does this count as an episode of, of like snapped here? Is this how the show works? So the first half or the first, I guess, third, they establish the case. The middle third, they tell you who it is. And then the last, even though it's not a last third, but it's the last half. So I'll say the first, fourth, they identify the case. The second, fourth. They tell you who did it. And then the next half, they work to kind of prove who did it. This is a good place to stop though. I like this y'all. I see. Why weren't y'all talking about this first season so I could have got on? I don't know. I like this. All right, I'll see you for the next one. I think I'm gonna do all four or all five. Damn, how long is this gonna be? I don't know, but I think I'm gonna do all five together. All right, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye guys.